Welcome back to today. Take a look at this photo, folks, in all of its glory. It's so lovely. The last official portrait of Her Majesty taken earlier this year during the celebrations for her Platinum Jubilee. And the man who had the honour of taking this beautiful photograph is photographer Reynold McKechnie and he joins us now in London. Reynold, thank you so much for your time. What a shot. Yeah. How much of an honour was that? Um, well, the whole thing is a big honour. Um, we have did that particular picture at the same time as the official Jubilee um, portrait. Uh, but I knew at the time I got something special. Um, and um, I'm really pleased that the uh, the palace have decided to release this at this time because it's uh, I love this image. It really captures the Queen for me. It's stunning. Um, and you uh, photographers can use all sorts of wily techniques um, to produce such a response. What was it that you said to her? Do you mind revealing? You know what? I knew you'd ask that. I can't remember. We we talked about a whole bunch of things. We talked about. <laughs> Dogs, trees, stuff. You know, she's she's an expert at you know conversation, and um, I can't particularly remember what that was, but uh, I knew when I uh, when I pressed the shutter that I got an absolute corker. Um, just tell us about this day because this was back in May when you took this photograph. Um, how was she when she posed for you? Um, she was great. She, we, we shot at Windsor Castle, where she was staying at, the, at that time and had been staying for a while. Um, and for the official Jubilee photograph, as you might recall, um, it was photographed with her sitting by a window overlooking the keep or the round tower of Windsor Castle. Um, so that was very kind of uh, prescribed. And that was a more formal image, I think, you know, um, and kind of symbolic. You know, the Round Tower is the centre and the oldest part of um, Windsor Castle and um, the hub, if you like. And I think it was really simple. The symbolism is pretty obvious. You know, the Queen really was the hub um, and the centre of the of the nation. And um, so that was done. And we had some time to do a simple head and shoulders portrait, which you see there, which I think is just, you know, really um, it just jumps. It just, it, you know, people have talked an awful lot about the Queen and her smile and her eyes. And, you know, she just lights up when she smiles like that. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, uh, I think it's... it's a, yeah. I bet myself it's a great shot. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, you're very modest. And all. It is a beautiful shot um, because there aren't many like it. And, and there is none like this one in particular. And it's the last official portrait of the Queen. Has that sunk in? Not really. Um, you know, that's the way the cards have kind of fallen. Um, you know, it's very sad that, you know, she's gone. Um, so I take no pleasure in that particularly. I just, you know, it's been an honor. To, I've photographed her quite a few times and um, I love it. You know, that's part of the great thing about my job. You get to go places and meet people that you might normally never do. You know, just driving my old heap of a car through the gates of Buckingham Palace makes it worthwhile and getting the, the kind of strange looks from the policeman. Um, you know, that's, that's part and parcel of it. That's, that's the perks. Good on you, mate. I think it's yeah. it's so wonderful. It's a lovely story yeah. uh, for you to have had that access, but to have also taken a photo yeah. that will live on forever. Congratulations. There's a lot. Thank yeah. You. Thanks, Reynold. Appreciate your time. You. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>